Yo people, uh, welcome to a new video. Federico here and today we are talking JIT and the I. So what I've got here is uh, a matrix sent from my Windows computer which is receiving this image from the Kinect. So this is the depth of my room. Let me show you. Like there is my Kinect and here is my Windows which is sending the matrix using JIT and the I from uh, the help file of the PKinect. So this transferring of the image through the Wi-Fi or through the Ethernet, but always in the same network, it's possible uh, thanks to the GTN NDI externals. So the GTN NDI externals are externals created by David Butler. You can see his GitHub. He made a post about his externals here on the Max Forum a couple of years ago. And these externals use uh, NDI, which is this uh, technology developed by this company called NewTek. So using the words of David, uh, if you don't know what NDI is, it's a protocol created by NewTek for video audio over IP. It has very high performance and low latency, and there's a lot of reasonably cost-effective hardware which, support, which supports it natively. So yeah, it doesn't only work between Max applications, like for example, JIT and, uh, send and JIT Net Send and JIT Net Receive, but it also works with other devices that use the NDI protocol. So if you've got like a camera or a phone app that is sending the video stream through um, NDI, you can receive it, it uh, using the JIT NDI receive. So that's pretty cool. So since the Kinect doesn't really work on Mac, uh, this is the perfect uh, use case for wanting to use something like JIT NDI to transfer images over the Wi-Fi or over an Ethernet cable from two different computers running Macs. Now, why am I even making a tutorial if it's just so easy, you just need to download uh, this external and uh, use it? Well, it's actually not super easy because if you try to just to download the external without uh, following any other procedure, you will get an error, it will not work. So indeed, if we go in the GitHub of David, you will see that there are some requirements. So we require to have the actual NDI library on our computer for it to work. But if you click on this link, you can see that actually the library is not anymore online. So we got a problem here. And uh, if we go in the Max forum on the original thread of the creator, we can see that somebody found a solution. There is actually a comment from GP Villamil, which says uh, that he solved the issue that you can, where well, you cannot find the library. So he says, you can download the SDK from somewhere else. So you click on this link and will bring you to the NDI website. Click here on advanced SDK, you click on download. Uh, you will have to input all your data, like how many times you eat per day and what's the color of your eyes and all, all the sort of crazy stuff. And uh, it really makes you feel like you're doing something serious while me personally are just messing around. So I, I don't want to disappoint these guys. I hope they don't count too much on me really developing something with NDI. Anyway, you give them all your data and then they send you an email from which you can download the actual SDK. So once you download it, the Mac version, you will have this PKG file. And don't worry, I'm also going to show you how to do the Windows part. Uh, for the moment, we do the Mac one. So you will uh, have this PKG, you install it, you follow the, the whole um, wizard thing. And once it's installed, so let's get back to this post in the thread. Uh, once you install it, you can go looking into your library and file this uh, library NDI SDK for Apple libx64 so let's see what we can find so we go into our disk we go into library and there will be indeed like uh, an ndi folder we go into red disk and there is another pkg which we can click on it it's another installer so we do the, the whole thing we install it it will install it inside lib and okay we let it do it and once it's installed, you will find this file if you go into user, local, lib, and here is where the uh, dynamic library has been uh, copied, has been put. And now it will work. So if before it will not have worked, so if we try to create this JIT NDI without this library, it would have given us an error. Now we uh, have the library in our computer and JIT NDI receive and send will work. So indeed, as you can see, this is working with the uh, uh, the matrix being sent from my windows. Cool. Okay, so let's do now the same thing for windows. So in windows we click, uh, we download the library as well. It comes as a very nice ex uh, executable file for windows. Kind of miss those executable files, I have to say, since I 
uh, went uh, the Mac way. Anyway, we installed this executable. It will put the library into program files, so not 86 because we are on Windows uh, 64 bit. So we will go into program files, find the find the NDI folder. We go into NDI 5 SDK. Then we go into lib, uh, x64, we copy those two files, I don't know if we need both of them, but we just copy both of them. Uh, and then, since I didn't know where this, uh, where should I put those library for Windows to actually uh, be able to use them for, from whatever... Uh, from whatever uh, application in Windows, I went on and asked ChatGPT, and this is something that I encourage you to do if you're not doing it already. ChatGPT is kind of the the ultimate solution for every tech question. So you can go here and ask the body um, where should I put a Windows lib to make it accessible to the whole system. Let's see what he says. Uh, well, you should put it one of the directories in the system path environment. The path environment variable contains these directories, blah, blah, blah. So let's follow the instructions. Uh, let's open the start menu, search for environment variables, uh, click on environment variables. System variables, we find the path. And instead of clicking new, I guess we should just browse for uh, finding our path where the, uh, the lib are. So cool, this was it. Uh, now we can use JIT NDI on our system. And this doesn't only work with other JIT NDI objects, because uh, for that we could have also used then the JIT.NET resender and receiver, but we can also receive NDI streams from other uh, from other object, uh, other devices that, that can use NDI. For example, I got an app on my phone, uh, which uh, let me actually show you. All right, so I got now this um, this app that is sending an NDI stream. So if I click again on Get Search List Menu, uh, I, and this, by the way, I got from the help file this little snippet. So now you can see that there is my phone listed as a, as a source, and yeah, now I'm using my phone to receive some NDI uh, stream. So pretty cool, and this will be the same dimension automatically adapt to the dimensions of the input stream. All right, everyone. So uh, this was it. I hope it was useful. If you like this video, uh, like and subscribe to the channel will be very much appreciated. This really helps. And if you would like to get some more jitter patches, uh, check out my Patreon. There's a ton of stuff there. Also check out my website to see all my tutorials in kind of an archive fashion. So where you can uh, look for what's uh, interesting you. Link in the description. So thanks again and I will see you in the next video. Have fun. Ciao. Thank you.